You like messing in better with the mustache or the new beard? <laughs> mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's had that mustache ever since he has had hair on his face, so. Mustache. <laughs> mustache mess is the only way to go. <laughs> How is the team coming? I'll tell you what, it's it's been one of the most enjoyable, it's been the most enjoyable um, fall camp in my time here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we're a week and a half uh, through it, um, but I feel, like guys, I feel like guys have been engaged, there's been high energy, um, you know, fighting through adversity. You know, th this time is where you find out what your team is, is made of. You, me texting him, you know, we, him and I have faced some similar things in, in life. And, you know, I think that is, has brought us together uh, really closely um, and just have, has grown that relationship tremendously. Because, you know, the, the, the key to that, um, you know, trust and, and, and continuity with a receiver or anybody on the team, you know, you have to have a relationship outside of football. You know, and um, you know, I know what he's he's gone through. He know, knows what I've gone through, and I just feel like that mentally just connects us. You know, and uh, that's helped us uh, a lot. And I truly, I think Malik has, has had a great fall camp. Um, he's taking command of that that receivers room. He's bringing it every single day, uh, working hard. And that entire receivers group, you know, they've been doing tremendous. And we just got to con continue to improve. How about Daniel, a tight end? What's what's he doing? You want to say his last name? <laughs> <laughs> you just say Daniel. <laughs> uh, Matter baby, yeah. He, uh, he, um, you know, Daniel's. Daniel's. He's, he's a good football player. Um, but like I said, you know, he's he's even a better person. You know, he he's a great asset to our football team as far as bringing, um, you know, experience and um, you know game reps and big time games that you can't really, you know, simulate. And I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously. You know, this whole offense is, is new to him. He had a, had a spring session uh, to learn it. And you could tell kind of early on that, you know, Daniel, he, he's a really, um, you know, a deep thinker. He's really an intentional with uh, with his, his thinking and understanding of stuff a bit, you know. And I think really over the past couple of days, especially, he's, you could tell he's starting to understand things. And hey, like, you know, I know what I'm doing. Let's go play football. Um, but like I said, he, he's a tremendous asset to that, that receiver. I mean, that tight ends room and has been a great leader for us. Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, this is this is the most unselfish football team that I've been a part of here, and we all just want to we all want to be successful, you know, and we want to be the best, and um, you know that that's why you, that's why you do this thing. You want to be the best. If not, then get out of here, you know. And that, that's our approach, and that's. That's something that Noah and I talked about, Malik, all of us, Deuce, you know, that's, that's our expectation is to go out there and be the best every single day. And um, understanding that we're not gonna be perfect, there's gonna be mistakes, you know, whatever the case may be, but you know, that, that's our mentality and that's how we're gonna attack practice every day. And I feel like that has really helped us, you know, our, our, our mindset, you know, when, okay, I'm throwing a, an under an under route, you know, Phillip Brooks and you catch this thing, it's a kickoff return. You know, that, that's like our mindset is we're making a guy miss, we're gonna go score. Same for me, if I'm running that thing, I'm gonna make a guy miss and turning a five five yard run play into 15 or 20. You know, that's that's our mindset as an offense and uh, we just gotta continue to build and, and grow. Scott, two years last ago, one, you, right. you, praised, you praised Joe and what you saw from him in camp. And last year was with Deuce. Is there another young guy who just kind of stood out in a similar way? Yeah, DJ, DJ, um, or running back from, from Junction City, true freshman. He's done a tremendous job. Um, he is he is a, a really good football player. I mean, you can tell, um, you know, I would say, rewind a little bit, DJ and RJ Garcia has been doing really well as, uh, also. Um, but both of those two players, I mean, you can tell they just have a natural feel for the game. Um, and they just have certain, you know, Characteristics that you can't really like teach someone, you know, it's like you, that, that, that he's like, you know, like when you're watching the bunny, you're like, oh, that, that dude, that dude gets it, you know, and you know, I feel like both those guys are like that. Uh, the biggest thing for them now is just learning the playbook, learning the playbook, playing fast, playing fast, you know, that that's the biggest thing is we got our offense is pretty complex, we're a pro style system, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, so, like, once you understand that, you can play fast, you know, watch out. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to. The, to working with those guys, you know, moving forward, they're great kids. Um, I say kids, great guys. Um, my age, I, you know, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> but no, I'm I'm looking forward to the future for sure with Thanks, them. Scott. Thank you, John. Yep.